everyone, my name is Nia and I am in the Buffalo Modular Homes office. I'm VP of Operations. I'm sitting here with my amazing cup of Tim Hortons coffee because it's a rainy day in Buffalo. And I'm also with one of our sales managers here, Jeremy, welcome. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for the invite. Absolutely, we wanted to have a little Q&A video um, and I wanted to ask Jeremy some of the um, common questions and things that might come up uh, during a build process. So. First of all, Jeremy, well, nothing comes up in the nothing. build process. Nothing. It's one hundred percent smooth. Smooth never, all the time. Never Every an time. issue. So good. Well, we want to be. Realistic. Life happens, right? Life, life happens. Absolutely. So, Delays happen. Things happen. Sure. Yeah. Can you give us um, just a, a brief uh, description of, of the overall timeline sure. that you give to clients? Sure. So the construction phase, you know, which is. You know, people come to modular because it's a faster construction phase. Mm -hmm. The construction phase is fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. we usually tell people month one of the construction phase after we get your building permit, which is after all of the planning, which I'll, I'll circle back to, but mm -hmm. month one of the construction phase, we'll get your permit and we'll put your foundation in the ground. The foundation will have a chance to cure for a few weeks and then we'll set your house. And then typically our schedule right now is, almost all of our schedules are running about 90 days after set is when people, uh, is when the project is wrapping up. Mm -hmm. Is it exactly 90 days? No, sometimes it's a little sooner. Sometimes it can be a little later. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if inspectors have additional requirements that weren't anticipated. <laughs> or if other delays come up. Um, and they can be, you know, we can talk about some of the delays that might be um, typical delays or delays that you can anticipate. But uh, 90 days after set is typical, mm -hmm. but we tell people actually, look, you know, you want to, you don't want to jam yourself up, right? You don't mm -hmm. want to get stressed out. Hey, I'm going to be moving in three months after set. You really want to plan your life for five months after set. Mm -hmm. So with the basement plus five, that's a six month building phase. And that gives you, when you plan for that, uh, it gives you plenty of extra time to transition from where you're moving from, uh, move in uh, at a reasonable pace, not a breakneck pace. Mm -hmm. You also might want to do a finished paint job. Um, some people do that later on. Some people have a painter come in right away, you know, because the mm -hmm. houses we provide uh, double, double primed, ready for your finished painter. If you want to allocate that cost into your mortgage, we can accrue for it in your budget, but you know, we'll give that back to you so that you can do that. Um, you know, there's other things that you're going to want to, you know, move in and do uh, in that process. You, it's not just moving into an apartment where you're going to just move in mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we've just built a house and there's uh, things that you're going to want to kind of do, you know, drapes that you might want to get things that you want to take your time with. And mm -hmm. so having a little bit of extra padding on that um, finished timeline, mm -hmm. uh, you know, an extra month or two, really I think we've seen help people reduce their stress in mm -hmm. the overall uh, timeline anticipation. Okay. So figure, uh, figure four to six months on the construction timeline. Um, but really on the planning phase, that initial planning phase, you know, if you just you know, hey, uh, you know, look this up and let's build a house and you don't have land and you're just getting right out of the gate, you know, that planning phase could be another six months. I mean, mm -hmm. just to close your bank loan on an existing house in New York State is going to be at least 60 days, mm -hmm. if not longer. And so there's two months. You know, designing blueprints and going over the floor plan, that can easily be another two months, depending mm -hmm. on how many changes you want to make and um, the option selection. Yeah, that should be a fun time and right. usually we can uh, pick everything out in, in a meeting or two mm -hmm. but you know everyone changes their mind right so you pick yeah. out your options yeah. and then you you have buyer's remorse right. well you know it I hasn't really been built I really want this great kitchen I saw Chip and Joanna Gaines and then the next day it's like wait we love you Chip no. and Joanna no okay, like the next day a, wait I think it's the, white kitchen. I the white kitchen the white kitchen oh no right? no what a lot of stress yeah. so we try to put parameters in place so that you know um, once the decision in, is made it's made and and you can you know feel locked in and and and, and feel solid about the decision um, but there's you know that can be a really fun time and we don't mm -hmm. want to put you know too much pressure on you and so that could be a couple months and then finding land can be a couple months you know sure. I mean we've sure. we've we're working with people for 
over a year of trying to find the right mm -hmm. piece of pro property. Maybe it's a second home and you're looking for a vacation site. Um, other times, we've, we've had a number of uh, people come right into the office and uh, you know we run a list of available lots uh, in local townships and they'll go out that next day and find something they really love. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that moves very, very quickly. And so you can have both ends of the spectrum, um, but certainly from a construction phase, you wanna plan for um, a little more time than, you know, as opposed to a little sure. less time and box yourself in sure. and stress yourself.